Hey everybody, my name is Ebony and this is video number three in my stock option series. In this video, we'll be talking about call options. So if you'd like to learn about that, then please keep watching. Okay, so let's get right into it. What is an option? An option is a contract. It gives the buyer, which is you, the right, but not the obligation, to buy and sell shares of a stock at a specific price on or before a certain date. And that date is called the expiration date. There are two types of options. The first option is called a call option. A call option generates money when the stock price is rising. The next type of option is called a put option. A put option will make you money when the stock price is falling. In this video, we're gonna focus on call options. Yay, it's really exciting stuff, right? So as you watch this video, I want you to keep this in mind. One option contract typically represents 100 shares of a stock. So let's say you've been doing your research and following the stock market, and you've been looking at Twitter stock. You think that Twitter stock's price will rise in the near future. Let's assume that Twitter's current stock price is $75 per share, and you predict that price is going up. Your prediction is that Twitter's price will reach $80 per share or higher by, let's say, April 1st, 2021. That date is called the expiration date right we're learning something now let's assume some time passes and twitter surpasses your 80 dollars prediction and reaches 90 dollars per share you now have the right but not the obligation to purchase 100 shares of twitter for 80 dollars per share instead of the current price of 90 dollars per share this is called exercising your option Okay, so in the previous example, yes, you are saving $1,000 by being able to buy 100 shares of Twitter for $8,000 instead of 100 shares of Twitter for $9,000. But what if you don't have that kind of capital or what if you just don't feel like throwing that much money into the stock market? Well, I'll show you how I trade options and how many other people trade options um, for profit without exercising the option and without having to put that much money up front. You simply just close your position and sell your call back to the market for profit. So let's get into how you do that. I'll show you how right now on Robinhood. Okay, so we're just gonna go into our Robinhood app and in the search bar, type in Twitter. And then once Twitter's pulled up, we'll click on trade and then trade options. So since this is a call option, we're going to select, I think it's going up. All these dates on the top are expiration dates. We're going to select April 1st, like in our previous example. So the prices on the left are called strike prices. These are the prices that we predict that Twitter will be per share by April 1st, 2021. The prices on the right side are called premium prices. These are the prices that we will pay to purchase a call option contract. Remember that each contract typically represents 100 shares of a stock, so we have to multiply this price by 100 for one contract. So in the middle of the screen, the current share price for Twitter is $72.40. And everything below that, those strike prices are called in the money, and everything above that, those strike prices are called out of the money calls. In the money calls are more expensive than out the money calls. Also, calls with expiration dates farther in the future are more expensive than calls with expiration dates that are closer to the present day. Okay, so since in our previous example, we predicted that Twitter's stock price will rise to $80 per share or above by April 1st, we're going to go ahead and click on the $80 call. So there are a couple of things that I look for when I'm purchasing a call option. One is the bid and the ask price. I like for these two prices to be pretty close together. The more narrow the gap between these two prices, that typically represents that the stock is highly liquid. If there is a wider gap in between these two prices, that typically means that the stock is thinly traded. 
Click the arrow to the right of the bid and the ask price and this chart will come up. For the sake of keeping this video short, I will go over this chart in more detail in another video, but I wanted to show it to you and I want to show you what I look at for sure each time I purchase a call option. So one thing that I look at under the Greeks is the delta. One thing that the delta does is predicts how much the value of an option should change when the price of the stock rises by $1. To calculate the predicted dollar amount that this option will gain when Twitter rises by $1, simply multiply the delta by 100. So it's predicted that this option should gain about $32.80 per dollar increase in the Twitter stock price. The next thing I typically look at is theta. Theta is typically a negative number because it indicates how much the option's value will decline every single day up until the expiration date. So yes, time decay is something that you have to consider when purchasing call options. You can calculate the dollar amount that you'll lose per day by multiplying the theta by 100. Now to purchase the option, just enter in how many contracts you would like to purchase. The limit price will have a suggested price already in that box of 265. If you would like your order to get filled right away, you might wanna go a few cents over 265, like 270, 275, just so your order can get filled right away. If you have a budget and you only wanna to stick to a certain amount, you can enter that in and see if it gets filled later in the day. Then you just swipe up to submit to purchase the option. Once you're happy with your profit or you're losing money and you want to get up out of there, this is how you sell the option. So click on trade and then sell. Enter in how many contracts you would like to sell. And if you would like for your order to get filled right away, then enter in a few cents less than the suggested price. Or, of course, you can enter in a price a few cents higher and just wait for it to get filled throughout the day. Okay, so you made it to the end of the video. I know that you've learned something and I really appreciate you guys for watching. I will be doing more videos on the Greeks, put options, exercising options, and much more. So please stay tuned for all of that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button on this video. And I will see you guys in my next video.